Hey, all right, y'all, this video is long overdue. I know that I might get a potential backlash for doing this, but I don't care. All right, it's my opinion, just like you have an opinion on a certain fighter that you don't like, okay? Now, I will say this. I've been hearing ramblings about this whole Mayweather and Pacquiao rematch that could potentially happen next year. Um, there's certain people who are excited about it, and there's certain people that are not excited about that, and rightly so. And um, I heard that Manny Pacquiao has signed a two-fight deal with, uh, with um, Al Heyman, and um, part of that deal is a Pacquiao rematch. I mean, is a Mayweather rematch. And for him to get that rematch, you'll have to go through an opponent of their choosing by the PBC, which is Adrian Broner, which has been rumored to uh, happen early next year in 2019. So uh, I will have to admit that is an interesting matchup. But needless to say, though, I just don't understand how anybody can be so excited about a Pitt Mayweather Pacquiao 2 rematch. I, I really don't understand why. And... It all goes back to the fact that Floyd had hinted about this uh, a few weeks ago when he uh, put it out on his Twitter or fa or, or um, not Facebook or Instagram. You know, Pacquiao and, and Mayweather had ran into each other in a club in Japan, and uh, Mayweather had said, "All right, get ready for a rematch in December." Blah blah blah, and um, another nine-figure payday. Now, when he mentioned the word nine-figure payday, that was a red flag right there. That was a red flag. And let me tell you why that was a red flag for me. Because when he said that, he said that, you know what? As much as you hate me, as much as you just despise me, or whether you like me or not, you're going to come watch my fight no matter what. That's what he said. And with that said, he's going to scam the fucking public to spend high fucking dollars for another, un another unentertaining fight <laughs> as we usually get from him. You know, during his later years when he became Money Mayweather. With all, you know, for all fairness, though, that McGregor fight was a bit entertaining. It is what it is. And McGregor is the one who sold that fight. But anyhow, I I, <laughs> I just don't understand. Again, I, you know, if, even if these two rematched, I mean, it's going to be the same result. I don't care how good Manny Pacquiao looked in the last several fights, okay? You know, other than the um, Jeff Horn fight. He's still no match for, the May for Mayweather, you know, based off the stylistic matchup. He just no match for him, all right? It's going to be the same result. And the reason why both of these two are clamoring for a rematch is because, no, one, they know Casual is going to buy into it, regardless how bad the first fight was back in 2015, which damaged um, boxing from a casual standpoint in America. Two, they're both in debt. <laughs> Let's face it, they're both in debt. You know, Floyd is in debt with the IRS, not in the severity as Manny Pacquiao is, but he also has some gambling debts from what I've been hearing, and he still has a gambling problem. But that's his prerogative that it is what it is, all right? And another thing I would advise to Floyd is that you better stop spending all that fucking money on them fucking strippers that, if that strip joint's in Vegas. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, but the fact is, despite all the hiring purses that he's received throughout his career, he just can't shake off his debt, and he has a high, high... Um, lavish spending life so a lavish spending life i should say so he's got to find a way to maintain those <laughs> maintain those um that cost of living and one thing for certain is that they, if these two are ever going to rematch they better not overprice that pay-per-view like they did last time all right and sadly to say there are going to be some casuals or manny pacquiao freaking diehards who go to buy into this because they believe and they have a ray of hope that he can avenge his loss against Floyd Mayweather. Well, guess what? <laughs> guess what, motherfuckers? That ain't gonna happen. Plain and simple. That's not gonna happen. As far as Floyd, will the Floyd diehards buy it? Yeah, they will. They will. But it's sad, though, because, um, you know, hey, it's their prerogative, but <laughs> I just can't understand why people go to get conned into this crap. I really can't. But all I know is for me, you can forget about it. I ain't buying into it. And you're gonna say, well, nobody's asked your opinion anyway, Dan. That's you. That's your problem. Oh well, yeah, it is my problem. But I have my right to also say that I don't support the fight. Yes, I'm a boxing fan, but hey, I'm not gonna support it. These guys can go off and make as much money as they want to. They can pull off another Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran situation, because we all know this is exactly what Floyd Mayweather is doing. He's following the Sugar Ray Leonard blueprint. blueprint. He's gonna fight guys that nobody really gives a damn about, but he knows it's gonna make much money because all the casuals will still care about it, especially the opposition like Manny Pacquiao. 
Just like what they did with Burrow Durant. A lot of casuals back in that third rematch when nobody gave a fuck about. A lot of casuals who still support Burrow Durant believe that he could avenge that loss from Leonard back in 81, I believe. Was it 80 or 81? And Montreal with the if it was no Ma situation. A lot of Durant diehards believe that Durant could avenge that loss, but it turned out to be a fucking snooze fest of a fight. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, boy could do whatever he want, but when he mentioned that I'm going to get another nine-figure payday, ah, oh, yeah, that that was a red flag right there. That was a red flag. It was just an indication that, again, I have to repeat my point, that he's conning the public to fucking buy another unentertaining fight at a very high expensive price tag, which is over $100, which is, which is, uh, which is the obvious. But luckily enough, we had... Uh, Steven Espinosa and I, perhaps Al Heyman had pulled Floyd to the side and said, you know what, you're not taking that December date because we're investing into Deontay Wilder against Tyson Fury, which rightfully so, because the heavyweight division deserves to have the spotlight, which it didn't have for so many years. All right. So anyway, that's my take on it. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. It's my opinion. I'm going to say what I want to say. And this fight is bullshit. It is. And if you're going to buy into it, that's your problem. I'm out. Oh, I forgot to mention let me tell you how uninteresting this uninteresting this thing is, okay? Because you have Mauricio Solomon that's coming out, who's imploring Floyd to stay re- retired, <laughs> okay? So that's how uninteresting this thing is with this rematch with Pacquiao Mayweather. Again, as I repeat my point, there are going to be some casuals who will be interested in the rematch. I just don't understand why, but it is what it is. I just have to add that there. I'm out.